Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and today we're going to be looking at the new Pattern Fill feature that you get in Layout, which is a program you get when you purchase SketchUp Pro 2013. Now, here are a couple examples of the Pattern Fill feature in use, and the first thing that you should know is it's not its own tool. It's not a separate tool um, to apply patterns. It's actually, if you look over here in the Shape Style panel, you'll notice that it's an, it's an additional uh, parameter that you can define on shapes that you create in Layout. So it's not something that you, it's not like a, a, a tool, like uh, when, you, when you draw shapes like rectangles and circles, it's not a tool that you select and then, and then click on things to apply a pattern to it. Basically what you have to do is create shapes first and then you can have that shape uh, have a pattern inside of it. So let's go ahead and create a shape. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and you'll notice that the um, the mouse pointer is is locking on to points inside the SketchUp viewport which is great. And so I've created the shape and the shape is automatically going to take whatever default style you have uh, set up for that tool. But to apply a pattern you can just click on the shape you just created and then activate this pattern button and the pattern will be applied to the shape. Now to edit the pattern you just click on the uh, the little button over here or you can just open the pattern fill panel uh, right below the shape style panel and you can select from uh, all the different default patterns that come with layout so you can see we have a, a number of different patterns here that you can choose from and they're organized in a couple of different um, different folders now one thing that's cool is you can actually change the rotation of uh, a hatch pattern um, so you can you can rotate it to, to give it a different look and you can also change the scale of it so you can um, you can make that scale uh, relative to whatever perspective you're you're trying to achieve now the other way that you can now in layout you can do a lot of different methods to kind of get the same results um, for instance if I wanted to I could select the tool and then configure the style of that tool before I actually start drawing so I can I can activate this pattern I can turn on the stroke and um, actually I'm gonna show you what it looks like without using the fill so if you don't if you don't use a fill um, the the pattern is transparent so the patterns actually are created by using a raster image with transparency so if you don't activate the fill which I have to select that first and then click fill um, that that shape is going to be uh, see-through now just like any other shape style or shape property you can select multiple objects and configure the pattern or the fill or the stroke on multiple objects at the same time and we'll bring this back to zero and so that's that's one way you can change the pattern and then another thing that I noticed is you can actually click and drag uh, pattern fill pattern fills directly to the shape that you want to to change so that's how you use the pattern fill tool in layout if you want to learn more about SketchUp and layout go to mastersketchup.com